you, you don't wake up in the morning, you know, um, imagine something like this going to happen. Um, unfortunately, that's the, that's the business that we're in, and, and, and all these guys know the risk, and, um, and they welcome the challenge. Two four city police officers are recovering this morning after being shot inside of a Walmart yesterday. Now they did shoot back and killed the suspect. But now state police are investigating. Manny Dole joins us in studio this morning with how shoppers reacted to the chaos. Shoppers described hearing someone threatening to blow the store up. They heard gunfire. They say it was terrifying. Police say yesterday morning someone in the store called to tell them a man was making threats. They say when they got there and walked up to Bobby Gibbs, he started shooting. They shot and killed him. While all of it was going on, shoppers called their loved ones. One man says his 98-year-old father was picking someone up from the pharmacy when he heard the shots. He heard a lot of gun gunfire and a guy that was screaming he was going to blow the store up. He said that it sounded like uh, the Korean War all over again in his head. Lieutenant Eric Varner and Detective Eugene Watlington were hurt. They're going to be okay, though. Watlington was airlifted to the hospital and had emergency surgery. Varner is already out of the hospital. Back to you guys. Mandy, thanks. Now, the shooting took the suspect's own family by surprise. Bobby Gibbs' son says he only found out about this through social media, and he never thought this is something his father would do. I am kind of shocked. I really miss my dad. You know, it been... Months before I seen him, so you know, I let his word was love you. But everybody like kind of knew my dad down here. He was like a DJ and all this, so you know, he, he a good person. The St. Francis County Sheriff says Gibbs had a lengthy criminal record that included mostly drug offenses, but nothing violent.